All right. This can be a pretty useful result, depending on the question, obviously. Uh, exponential distribution has a lot of different properties. Um, this is one of them that I haven't seen exposure to as much. Um, let's take a look at this. So I have an exponential just a random variable, x, parameter lambda. The expect I'm interested in what is the expected value of x minus a given that x is greater than a. Now of course, a, a here is, a is a, a number greater than zero, right, a is real. It better be a real number. Obviously it's greater than zero. And what else is it gonna be, complex? No. So that's that little piece there. I mean, and also why is it greater than zero? Because exponential distribution is only defined for x greater than, sometimes greater than or equal to zero, right? So uh, first things first though, what's just the expectation of x? So the expectation of x is just one over lambda. And you know that if you are familiar with the exponential random variable, right? So that's what we have there. Now, let's find this value here. I want to just use the definition. The definition of conditional expectation. So the expected value of x minus a, given x is greater than a. Now, this is a continuous random variable, so I need to use the integral. I need to integrate over, um, in this case, well, all of the x's, right? Now specifically, we'll have to integrate over x greater than a, but uh, what am I, what's going to be my integrand? We're going to have this piece, x minus a. I'm just using the definition of conditional expectation. Now here I need to find actually the PDF, the conditional PDF. So x minus a uh, given x is greater than a, and I'm with the x. And I can put something in here, like the argument or whatever, but it's pretty much understood what that is. Right? So I need to find the, the conditional PDF. I need to find f of x minus a given x is greater than a. And these should really be bold, capital. So uh, what is this equal to? Just use the definition, the definition of the conditional PDF. So this is going to be uh, here it is going to be, well, basically I need the probability that x uh, of x minus a, given x is greater than a, so and x is greater than a, divided by the probability that x is greater than a. A different way to think about this, this is the way I like to think about it. Um, I just need to compute this, the denominator, and then we'll, we'll deal with this in a second. So what is the probability that just x is greater than a? This is essentially just using the scribal function of x, of the distribution x. So in other words, 1 minus the CDF. You should know what the CDF is. So this is quite straightforward. I mean, you can write it out if you want. This is a to infinity, okay? Because exponential distribution goes from 0 to infinity. So I want a greater than 0 of the PDF. The PDF, what is the PDF of the exponential distribution? It's lambda e to the negative lambda x dx. Straightforward integration, this is something extremely nice, e to the negative uh, lambda a. So, not bad, not bad. What do we have here now? Um, well, this is, by the way, by the way, when I have a conditional expectation like this, or conditional PDF, this is just gonna end up being my PDF. This is just going to be my PDF, and we'll integrate from uh, x greater than a. So what I mean is that now uh, we have this. The expectation of x minus a, uh, given that x is greater than a, is equal to uh, the integral. Now I need to put the x minus a here. Now as I mentioned, uh, we're going to replace this with this right-hand side right here, inside the integrand here. This is going to be with just my PDF. So my PDF here is lambda e to the negative lambda x dx, right? And we're to divide by the probability of x greater than a. I computed that. 
that's e to the negative lambda over a. And actually, well, it's over this, which means I can just multiply by e to the positive lambda a. So that's what we get there. All right, what are my bounds of integration here? Well, this is really where we deal with this part. So this corresponds to this PDF, however, right? Because I want the probability uh, uh, of x minus a given that x is greater than a. This is really just going to be this piece, but I want to take uh, a to infinity. That's how I'm dealing with x greater than a. So I'm dealing with it by saying I want a to infinity. This is the integral I need to compute. Now you should immediately realize how to compute this integral. You should recognize this, what we need to do. Your all-time favorite, right? Integration by parts. Of course, this is not super fun. But whenever you see a question like this, you always want to use the tapping method. So everything to do with exponential function and expectation, I'm always going to use the tapping method, which means I have my u over here and my dv over here. u is x minus a. Uh, du is 1 and 0. So easy peasy, right? dv is lambda e to the negative lambda x. Integrate once, negative e to the negative lambda x. Integrate twice, uh, e to the negative lambda x over lambda. Now, using this method, all I need to remember here is I'm going to sort of go diagonal, and I want to have a plus and a minus. So that's how I'm going to compute this. I'm not going to write it out in uv less integral vdu. It's a nightmare. It's annoying. So just write it out this way. Look at what I have here. I mean, this is equal to now. This is equal to uh, negative x minus a e to the negative lambda x minus minus e to the negative lambda x over lambda. Going from a to infinity. <coughs> now, of course, this is abuse notation. I can't have the bound of integration being infinity, so you technically would have to take the limits. I mentioned, though, I'm studying for exam p. We have to be quick and efficient with this kind of thing. We just use the abuse notation. I want to just find out what this is. So I'm just going to think of plugging in plugging in infinity, right? If I plug in the upper bound, I'm reading the fundamental theorem of calculus, right? Plug in the upper bound, this is my antiderivative. What I have to, again, this is kind of a non is L'Hopital's rule. I'm not going to do that, because I know that this exponential expression is going to overpower this. This is going to tend to zero. This is also going to tend to zero. So what I mean is, is that this is equal to zero. I'm going to plug in infinity here. This is going to be zero. Minus, what happens if I plug in a? Well, this is zero, this is not zero. So this is equal to, so minus, and don't forget these negatives here. So negative, this is going to be negative, zero. This is going to be plugging in a right here, it's zero. Negative zero, same thing, zero. Minus, when I plug it in here, this is, this is equal to e to the negative lambda a, e to the negative lambda a, over lambda. So I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm just using the fundamental theorem right here. What I have left, and don't forget I have this, the e to the lambda a, so e to the lambda a, e to the lambda a. Now you should hopefully just see what this is. And what is this? Take one more step. I have a bunch of bloody negatives floating around here, but just deal with those. So this is equal to, uh, right here, right here, this is just equal to e to the negative lambda a over lambda times e to the lambda a, which is what? Which is 1 over lambda. 1 over lambda. Does that sound familiar? Does that sound familiar? Let's see. 1 over lambda. Huh. Huh. If only I knew what was familiar about 1 over lambda. That is the original expectation. Why the hell would this be true? Remember, 
that the random variable, the random variable x exponentially is memory memoryless. We don't care if we're greater than a, right? If I compute this expected value of x minus a, given that we're greater than a, the exponential distribution doesn't remember that. It's memoryless. So what we've just concluded, the conclusion, is that I have the following. The conclusion is that the exponential, uh, the expected value of x for a, ra a random variable which is exponentially distributed is equal to the expected value of x minus a given uh, x is greater than a. Now there's something else you can show which is also uh, pretty useful, but you can also show uh, that the expected value of, of x given x is greater than a, so a slight modification is that this is equal to uh, a plus the expected value of x. Okay, so this is, this is the result we just proved. This is another one. Another one which is nice is the variance of x uh, minus a given x greater than a is equal to, remember the variance, if you throw in a constant, add or subtract, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. So this is equal to uh, the variance of x. That's not pertaining to adding or subtracting a constant. But if I throw, if I get rid of this constant, it's still variance of x. 